whether it be cars or clothes, furniture or floating assets. Where beauty and design is concerned, the old adage is certainly true that Italians do it better. As the world's leading super yacht producer, Benetti has built a reputation on offering a remarkable blend of outstanding quality and jaw-droppingly beautiful designs. Some products, though, just don't lend themselves to a beautiful design. And in the yachting industry, the Explore Yacht represents just such a challenge. Traditionally, an Explorer yacht is robust and voluminous. It needs to have big tenders, which are usually put on the deck level, which is very practical, but not particularly beautiful. This is the story of how Benetti took that challenge and after years of research and development, stood up to the plate as guardians of all that is beautiful in yacht design to produce a stunningly attractive series of Explorer yachts that seem to defy the laws of what's possible in a 37 meter yacht. This is the story of the Bonetti Beyond series of steel and aluminium Explorer yachts and all that you need to know about them. When a company with the industrial might and the design capacity of Benetti has the liberty of designing a yacht from a blank sheet of paper. It is quite remarkable what they're able to do. The first challenge, of course, is to maximize the available space within a specific 36.5 meter long hull with an 8.6 meter beam. Of course, if you can't go any longer or any wider, the only other possibilities are to fully exploit the height and the depth of the yacht. And in fact, Benetti embarked on a thorough volumetric study of the vessel to find effective ways to carve out an entire additional deck without compromising the sleek appearance of the yacht itself. Just look at the effect this has as we take a virtual walkthrough of this revolutionary new model. The lower deck will have a generous space dedicated for a beach club that we shall be taking a look at in a moment. And of course, a sizable area reserved for the machinery on board, as well as tender storage above. All of the rest of this deck though is reserved for the crew something that is quite unheard of in a yacht of these dimensions. You'd be forgiven for thinking that this cabin on the port side of the vessel is a VIP stateroom, but actually this is dedicated to the captain. The rest of the crew also have spacious accommodation further forward. And just look at the size of this galley, certainly something that is of great importance when scheduling long-range cruising. Directly connected to the guest accommodation via a staircase is also an area that offers great flexibility. It can be fitted out as a gymnasium or as another guest stateroom in the event that the owner of the yacht wants to put her on the charter market. The yacht gets especially interesting as we move up to the main deck though, the deck that Bonetti has allocated for all of the guests' staterooms and the owner's stateroom. Here, they can enjoy a remarkable amount of space and wonderful views of the surrounding seascape through vast windows that run almost the entire length of the hull. Apart from the four well-proportioned guest staterooms, there is a palatial master suite that includes a private lounge area and an ensuite bathroom so well appointed, I just don't think that such a thing exists on any other yacht in this category. Possibly the most intriguing part of this deck though is that aft of the guest accommodation, there is a very large garage dedicated to the tender and toy storage for the yacht. We'll be looking at that in more detail via a virtual walkthrough on the outside of the yacht. 
it really is something to behold. First though, let's take a look at the next deck up, the upper deck. And once again, I have to say, I have never seen anything quite like this on a yacht of this size. Whilst most 37 meter yachts will try to cram a lounge area, galley, master stateroom, and a dining area onto the main deck, the Beyond offers this marvelously open and airy solution where there is an abundance of space for sitting and relaxing with a proper area for dining. This is not the kind of space that you would normally find on a 50 meter yacht. You would have to start looking at a 60 or even 70 meter vessel to enjoy this kind of freedom. And just imagine how wonderful it must be to enter the main lounge surrounded by full height windows and be able to see right through to the bow of the yacht for practically 360 degree views. Moving on to the bridge deck, we find an extremely well thought out helm station with a dedicated area for the officer of the watch. I just can't stress how important this is, especially on yachts that are designed for long range cruising. And I should really mention here that the aft deck can be partially enclosed to create a chic veranda too. Finally, of course, there is the sun deck, a wonderful area for dining and sunbathing. But before we start to look at the various deck levels, let's consider the question of how one passes through all these decks. And it's important to note that here too, Bonetti have made a detailed volumetric study to ensure that crew and guests can move easily through separate, dedicated stairways. And there's also a dumb waiter that goes all the way from the galley to the sun deck. When I was first shown this project, it took me a while to understand that this is actually a four deck yacht because it looks so much like a tri deck. And that's where Benetti have really worked their magic in producing a layout that I have never before seen on a yacht of this size. Let me take you for a virtual tour of the yacht and show you how it works. The tour starts here on the aft deck of the yacht where crew will most likely be waiting for you with refreshing towels and to invite you up these few steps to a wonderful upper aft deck area where you can relax after your trip. As I mentioned earlier, this deck is completely uncluttered and leads on all the way through the lounge area to a spacious dining area. Now, inside dining areas often don't get much use on a yacht, but just look at this remarkable design that opens up the dining table to this huge foredeck so that you really have a wonderful inside outside dining solution. I should also mention that as far as deck space is concerned, guests are spoiled for choice on the Benetti Beyond, since there are an additional two outside deck spaces with a large jacuzzi tub, a barbecue area, and plenty of choices for sunbathing and dining options. Going back to the aft deck though, it's the route that the crew may take that I find even more intriguing. Whilst guests will walk up a few steps to the upper deck, crew who may have accompanied you will take a few steps down so that they can immediately access the crew quarters. Before they get there though, they walk through this vast tender storage area that I can safely say is absolutely without compare on any other yacht of this size. Show me if you can a 37 meter yacht that has space for an enclosed six and a half meter tender. The Bonetti Beyond has space for that, plus a 4.2 meter tender for the crew and two jet skis, as well as another area on board for smaller water toys. The reason for that is that Benetti has been able to gain this entire extra deck. Many great explorer yachts will have a dedicated boat deck. It just seems to be the best place to store tenders for so many reasons. 
but by bringing the size of the hull up to this higher level, Benetti have been able to create a semi-enclosed boat deck with opening sides for easy launch and retrieval of the tenders, whilst at the same time retaining a very attractive profile to the yacht itself. And by placing the tenders and toys on a deck, rather than in an enclosed aft garage, as is often the case with traditional Italian yachts of this size, Benetti have also freed up the transom for a wonderful sea-level beach club with great spaces and especially an unusually high head height, once again due to the extra deck that they have carved out for this model. And if you thought that that was enough for you to take a serious look at the Benetti Beyond as a leader in that 37 meter yacht category, I can tell you that it doesn't end there. I had a fascinating conversation with Benetti staff recently who were telling me about the hybrid system for this yacht. They explained that Benetti didn't want to go to different suppliers and different manufacturers to put together a system that would be somewhat of a midge modge to try out on Benetti clients. They preferred to go to one industrial giant, Siemens, for a well-proven integrated hybrid system. And here is how it works. The yacht has four power sources on board. The main engines, the generators, electric motors that are connected to the engines, and a battery bank. At low speed, an owner may prefer to turn the main engines off and let the generators power the electric motors so that they run the propulsion whilst the batteries handle other electric loads. This is ideal at night, for example, if you want to relocate the yacht whilst guests are asleep, since it reduces the noise and vibration on board. If you're in an area of the world where you need to have zero emissions in order to cruise, or if you want to enter or exit a marina in silence, you can rely upon the batteries to power the electric motors and also the other electrical requirements for brief periods. Then, when an owner wishes to cruise for extended periods in the most economic way possible, the electric motors can be run by the main engines to power the propulsion and the hotel loads whilst the battery bank manages any variations and peaks in requirements. It is estimated that this actually represents a 10% reduction in fuel consumption when compared to using the main engines for propulsion and the generators for the electrical load. Clearly, the generators are not used at all in this mode. And finally, if crew are transferring the yacht from one place to another and speed is not of the essence, the Benetti Beyond can run at low speed with just one main engine powering the electric motors for propulsion, whilst one generator and the battery bank handles the other loads. This of course reduces the overall consumption up to 15%, but also saves the operating hours of the engine and the generators. It is astonishing how Benetti have taken that challenge of creating a long-range explorer yacht with a volume of almost 400 gross tons, a dedicated boat deck, things that make a yacht very practical, but often rather unsightly. And through their obsessive desire to make all the things they produce beautiful, they've packaged it into a gorgeous, attractive, and very distinctive body. A builder of the size and reputation of Benetti could quite easily coast along making small changes and improvements to their existing range. The Benetti Beyond though is in no way an evolution of an existing model. It is a completely new species.